just just couldn't say enough about our guys during the bye week and, and uh, the preparation to get ready for UT Chattanooga. I know obviously the, the score uh, indicates uh, you know we shut them out on defense, put up some points on offense. But I just I really respected that team, uh, the way they ran the ball. I think they're you know they're three and zero. I don't care what level you're at, defending want to win games. So. I think our guys locked into it. Definitely some things we got to correct. I would have liked to get some points before the end of the first half. I didn't like the way we started the second half, uh, but we got a lot of guys more valuable experience today, especially some of the backups. Got some new faces in on defense, uh, Jared Beatty and a couple other guys. So excited where we are. Um, disappointed that we're not at this venture. Uh, we got three wins, obviously. We'd love to have four, but we, uh, uh, I think we've learned a lot about our team in these first four games, and now we'll uh, uh, take a nice nine-day preparation into the Wisconsin game. Um, you know, I thought overall, uh, um, you know, our, our guys uh, played pretty clean today. There was a big point of emphasis during the bye week. Um, still some things we got to improve. Obviously, Pat got that one call back by a holding call, so we got to eradicate that, but our guys played a lot better uh, execution and, and um, um, really for four quarters, I thought, played a pretty complete game. So we'll uh, take it from there. Open up for questions. Fred, you lost a lot of experience on your defense, but this group, especially up front, what have you made of that group through four games, leading into obviously some big tests? Yeah, uh, and we got a, a tremendous, uh, I think, group of players on defense that uh, play with a lot of confidence. Um, I think they have a lot of faith in their coaches. I, I, I couldn't be happier with uh, Ryan, Aaron, JMO, um, Andy, and Kevin. I thought those guys uh, each week just kind of continue to find ways to motivate the guys, give them advantage. I think they'll get stronger as the year goes on because they're, we have intelligent players on defense that that understand the advantage of film and, and uh, tells and, and things that give them some advantages before the snap. I, I, I heard our guys talking uh, two days ago, uh, which would be the equivalent of like a Thursday practice on just things that were uh, being alerted before the snap. And that's that's just something that's continued to grow. We have a group that's very, very engaged. And um, you know now some younger players continue to play well, and that gives us depth. I know that you know, the first string defense at the end of the Virginia game asked back in to maybe keep that touchdown the streak going. How much do you think that has built on itself? You know, Ryan and I had a, a conversation about that on, on Sunday after that Virginia game. You know, the, 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 that group wanted that, right? I think they felt hollow after that Indiana, uh, uh, you know, ending, and they wanted to be able to, you know, you know, prove to themselves mentally and physically that they could do that. And, uh, you know, I don't know the exact factor on our season, but I do think that's a, a, a point that our guys uh, now uh, have learned that lesson, and hopefully we can carry it forward because now the uh, – Obviously, the stakes have gotten a lot higher for the rest of our games to be Big Ten Conference opponents. Um, starting off with uh, three in a row here in our division, it's going to be a big. Uh, I said this, uh, you know, during our bye week, we got a big month of football in front of us uh, for this program um, uh, to have to have uh, uh, to have this game close out the way it did. Now to go at Wisconsin and come back to back with two home games here. Um, Hopefully we get a great crowd because I think this group is fun. Um, they're exciting to watch and they're eager to please. Are you Coach, you knew when you came here, you're going to play Wisconsin out there eventually. Have you thought about this game at all? You, you know, obviously, uh, you know, there's a lot of history. I, I, I always tell our, our players, right, um, I've never met a successful man that isn't proud of where he came from. I'm actually from Illinois. Uh, I coached it and played at Iowa. I went to Kansas State for a little bit and spent a big big part of my career as a, as a, as a Wisconsin coach, both as a coordinator and head coach. I'm very proud of the things I accomplished there, but those none of those accomplishments are going to help us next Saturday, right? Um, nothing that we did there on the field is going to carry forward. I have a lot of great uh, people that I'm close with, uh, that I'm close with to this day. Paul Christ and I are, I, I consider a very good friend in this profession. Jimmy Leonard was the first player that I ever visited with at the University of Wisconsin. Um, Coach Alvarez said, hey, if you get Jimmy, you're going to get them all. So he and I were the first player I ever visited with at, uh, during my tenure there. And obviously, he's a very accomplished D coordinator. Um, uh, my wife and I got married there. You can't get more special than that, right? So like. That's all part of things that are pertaining to me. This is about the University of Illinois. Um, so really, other than the fact that everybody else is going to make a big deal of it, I've turned down a lot of, uh, you know, I had different TV organizations that people reach out and want to do a special on, on my return, and I, I, I turn them all away just because I want this to be about the University of Illinois going to Wisconsin. Game to game, or even maybe practice to practice, are you seeing the development and the progression for Tommy? Um, and, and what you, you wanted to see. At yeah, the you know, Tommy is, uh, you know, and you guys found out, right? But I mean, uh, for heaven's sakes, that first game, right? He finds out after the game that he loses his grandmother, right? And and, and to, to, then he went home during the bye week and, and celebrated her life, right? So Tommy is, uh, uh, the more I'm around him, the more I, I'm just very impressed with who he is, what he represents. Um, 
I think as a skill set, he, he has, uh, you know, all the tools that you want a quarterback to have, and he also has the intangibles. So uh, we're four games into the Barry Lunny offense, right? And, and I think you begin to see uh, how that thing can click. I've seen it in practice, but I, I really challenged our guys. Actually, on Thursday's mm -hmm. practice, I didn't like the way we kind of ended, so I made the offense stay out and do extra reps. Uh, and play a little bit cleaner, and I'm glad I did because I think you saw that today in the way they executed. Coach, uh, I think this was the first career start for Gabe Backus. What, what did you see from his play today, and you know what kind of what's kind of the ceiling for that kid? You know, Gabe is strong, athletic. Uh, you know, it was kind of Kevin and I were kind of having this conversation. Even though he's a rookie, uh, first first start, like you said, like he just does not get wild by the moment. He's, uh, you know, his mom raised an incredible kid. His de his uh, brother is uh, very influential in his life, and I just. He's a very serious kid that, um, that nothing really phases him. He's, he's got a great sense of humor, demeanor, very uh, uh, engaged. But, you know, I also looked at our defense. I believe defensively we have six guys from the state of Florida that start for us, right? So um, just another great addition of, uh, you know, during our bye week, I'm going to go down to Florida for two days. Uh, I found my wife from Florida. So obviously I've been very well in life uh, in Florida. And hopefully that, that part is going to continue to grow because those players have been a huge impact in this program. Yeah. So as you guys see, Pat's a big, athletic, um, um, strong hands, can run through tackles. Uh, you know, he's got a longer stride, so it may not look like he's running as fast as he truly is, but uh, we're just scratching the surface of what he's going to be. I think he's a nice compliment to Isaiah. Um, and then you saw that was kind of a neat sight on that far sideline when Isaiah took it off and they were running stride for side there. Two different kind of stride lengths, but... Uh, two guys that cover a lot of ground, so I'm, I'm excited to see those guys continue to grow. You throw that in accommodation of you know Chase uh, with Josh McCray. I think Josh is very close to getting back here with us, uh, and then obviously Reggie. I thought did some nice things in there today. Our tight ends continue to be productive. Uh, I'm excited about the growth of our O line. I think this offense is uh, is something that could be special. Brett, you've obviously coached some really good defenses. What do you think this group is? You know what I like about this defense is they're they're kind of a group that they're kind of the bad news bears, right? They don't they don't really have a marquee guy. Maybe um, they're just got a lot of guys that really do a good job. Keith, Johnny, uh, I, I thought uh, in, in particular our interior nose play today was really good. Um, um, uh, I think our linebackers between you know uh, 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 C.J. Hart, Dark, and, and um, um, Tariq, those guys. You know C.J. became a dad on Thursday. I mean, how many? All right, not. Thursday on Tuesday, I guess it was right. Like so, to like go through those things and still play the way they did, it's just a really impressive group. I, I do think the glue. It sounds kind of weird. I think the glue of of uh, Spoon, Sid, and and uh, um, um, Kendall, and and uh, obviously uh, uh, Quan, they're just so steady back there. Um, uh, Ryan is a very good defense coordinator, but what he really truly is, he's an incredible DB coach. Um, I think him and Coach Henry both. Play off each other very, very well, and that group. When you're when you're as solid as we are in the back end, it really allows you to do a lot of different stuff up front. And this might be a small thing, but what explanation did you get from the official when he told Caleb and Hugh they couldn't maybe do the visual visualization stuff? During yeah, the um, I'll wait and see what they say. That did for you know for as long as I've been here, they've been out there on the field doing that. But um, obviously, it didn't set well with Mike, and he's in charge. The White Hat uh, gets to do what he wants to do, so. Um, I'm sure we'll we'll, have, we'll ask uh, during the course of the week what that is. It was a lot for me, uh, you know. It was, it was a, something I didn't really bring up or mention to our players, but I, I'm fully aware of that. There's a lot of first going on in this program, right? So, like, uh, when I first got the call from Josh, I just thought Illinois could be something um, that that hasn't been in a while, right? And, and like, just blown away today, I find out, you know, Chase. Um, First time a running back in, in the University of History had rushed five time, five games for 100 yards. I, I, I had no idea that that was that's kind of just what we do, right? Ever since I've been head coaching, like you're gonna have a guy rush for 100 yards. That's how you win football games. Um, today was the first time two receivers went over 100 yards, and we had a 100 yard running back. That's the first time in program history. Like those are stats that I can't believe they're they're first, um, but. Um, we're not there. We're a three and one team, but I am excited about where we're at. I think we're just beginning to understand who we are. Um, uh, I really like the way this group works. Uh, I think they're going to be a very uh, easy group to coach going into Wisconsin uh, next week, and uh, they're they're playing hungry. But this is this is our second rematch game, and, and I'm excited to see where we end up. I guess with Seth Coleman, what has he kind of done to maybe 
take that step forward? Maybe it gets Seth Foreman? Yeah. yeah, Seth. Seth's been a very impressive guy. Um, you know, we had a little uh, team meeting last night, and, and I brought up Zeke. I'm like, uh, you know, just anybody has any any uh, uh, moments tomorrow, talking about today's game, where you need to be motivated, just think about what Zeke uh, is going through right now because um, uh, him and Seth had done a really good job kind of building off of one another, and I think Seth took – Gabe under his wing here, especially in the last couple of weeks, and, and uh, that's the growth I've seen out of Seth. Like he, he was a real quiet kid when I got here. I'm not saying he's quiet all the time, but around the coaches he is, and his professional growth is, uh, uh, you know, who he is, how he plays the game, um, uh, how he learns the game. I give Kevin a lot of credit. Kevin Kane has uh, has got his attention and playing at a high level. There's a little more up, up front, uh, Johnny Newton. You almost take it for granted that he's that he's going to have a great game. He had another, he had another Johnny Johnny Newton up front. What did you see from him today and the rest of the? You know, Johnny just continues to saw wood, right? He just he's he's uh, uh, Johnny is a very um, you know, for a defensive lineman, uh, his football acumen and IQ is really high. He's really taking advantage of early down rushes. Uh, Johnny loves a game of football. I can't tell you. I'll be sitting. Uh, you know, it was um, uh, during the bye week on a Monday night football game, right? And I'm in in Utah of all places and I get a text from Johnny he's like hey coach did you see the rip reach there right like he he loves football um his mom and dad have raised a a really really uh, exciting kid to be around um uh, he's not really long but he's got really good power uh, uh got great demeanor um I think people rally around him he's really taking a step in maturity as well so uh, you know Johnny's just kind of a steady Eddie and and uh, going to be rewarded because of it thanks guys Thank you.